Here goes nothing. I sure hope Heathcliff doesn't mind eating Acme cat food again, Marcy. Me too. Grandpa's getting upset with Heathcliff for eating all that real tuna. Heathcliff, come and get it. Huh? <laughs> uh, that cat. Let me guess. Heathcliff won't eat his cat food. Well, uh, I guess not. Poor baby just wants some tuna, that's all. <laughs> it's nice to be appreciated. <laughs> this cat is eating us out of house and home. Unless he finds a way to buy his own tuna, he's out on his tail. Gee, Iggy, what are we gonna do? We'll have to find Heathcliff some way to earn money. How can we do that? I don't even know where to start looking. Hey, I know! The paper! You find a nicer paper? It smells like fish. Hey, Marcy, listen to this. Here's a perfect job for Heathcliff. Tuna Fleet needs reliable cat to go on tuna hunt. Some mousing required. Tuna? Hey, I may be lazy, but I'm not stupid. Hey, where do I sign? Take care of yourself, Heathcliff. The salt air will be good for him. I hope it's a nice long trip. Meow, meow. So long. Bye, Heathcliff. Bye, Heathcliff. Ta-ta. Hey, cat. This better be important. Come on, mate. Look alive. We're in tuna country. Tuna country? <laughs> Here comes lunch. <laughs> I'll try the other side of the boat. And hey, maybe they're smaller over there. Ah, this is the life. Not a care in the world. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I got one! Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 
Yeech. Octopus kiss. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm glad that's over. How about if I lead? <laughs> I'm losing my appetite for fish. Fog ahead. Turn hard to port. Here you go, cat. Gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, well. Huh? <laughs> hey! What's going on here? It's the pirate trawler! They've stolen our fish! They've stolen my fish! <laughs> Get off this ship, Swabby. Ah, go chase your tail. Boom! Hey, I found the tuna! Gotcha! <laughs> Head me! You are walking the plank. Get serious, you mutt. <laughs> <laughs> Send a message to the Tuna Fleet. It's time to face the music, cat. Hey, I've got dancing feet. Maybe this is not to be my day. Now, let's see. Hmm. One third of how many tuna is, uh... <laughs> Aha! <laughs> so I am to have the last laugh, my little furball. This will hold you, slippery one. Yow! Uh oh! Ooh. 
was the best investment we ever made. I'm not done with you yet. But I'm done with you. Not again. Let me go. Dogs are so dumb. Go fishing. It'll be at the fish store. <laughs> I say, Heathcliff, until I get a new net, I can't catch any fish. Sorry, get me a new net and I'll catch all the fish you can eat. Hmm. They've got more fish than you've ever seen in your life. Yippee! I always wanted to go to sea land. You can't go along. They don't allow pets. Me? A common house pet? Sorry, Heathcliff. Not this time. Up, I'll have to call in the tuna fleet. Hmm. Hand me that extension pole, will you, Joe? for my delicious chowder. <laughs> I need a clam opener. These clamshells are tougher to crack than a bank vault. Okay, move it. Are you kidding? It took me two days to get this far. It's all right. It's all right. All 
secure, Joe? Yep. You're sure now? Absolutely. I need to get me a raft. We never want to make the mistake of hiring them. It's a bucket fish, Grandma. Bucket fish? I'll start with a seafood cocktail and finish with a grilled trout almondine. You're finished before you start it. We don't serve common alley cats. I'm reporting you to the manager, you stuffed sheep. My goodness gracious, someone's eaten our lunch. Looks like Heathcliff got in here. But how could he have? We left him at home. <laughs> ah, just what I had in mind. We're here to see it. Oh, no! It is Heathcliff! <laughs> Heathcliff, I thought I told you they don't allow pets here. Pet? This cat's a wild beast. Come on, Heathcliff. Let's go home. Cliff, we'll be 
be back in a little while. All right. Thanks, Heathcliff. Now, let's see about getting us some lunch. I've got a whale of an appetite. <laughs> No need for signals, Heathcliff. I know where they keep the tuna in this store, but I have to pick up some other things first. Huh? Mm, I can almost taste that tuna. Rats. Heathcliff! When it comes to tuna, nothing else comes first. What's the problem, ma'am? Oh, Heathcliff is just upset that you're all out of tuna. I told him that we'd find some at another store. Probably not, ma'am. Haven't you heard about the big tuna shortage? A shark has been chasing all the tuna away. The fleet's come back empty-netted for days. Feed him Cat Crunchy. He'll never notice the difference. After all, he's just a cat. Just a cat? Cat Crunchies! Never noticed the difference, huh? Here, you take the Cat Crunchies. Pee you! Doesn't she understand I don't have time to dawdle? I gotta get home and find my fishing gear. I don't know why you're in such a hurry to get home, Heathcliff. There's no tuna there either. Ah, oh, Priority Express service. Home sweet home. Now to get some fishing equipment, and I'll be off. Isn't it about time for Heathcliff's dinner? I was just getting it now, Grandpa. Uh-oh. There's no more tuna left. Just this old box of cat crunchies. As I recall, Heathcliff hates that stuff. Hey, Heathcliff! Time for dinner! I thought there wasn't any tuna. How about some nice cat crunchies, Heathcliff? No! Grandma! Yeah! Yeah! I told you he hated that stuff. Hey, look, it's Heathcliff. Hiya, boys. I got a little proposition for you. Coming from you, short stuff, it would have to be little. As unofficial mascot of the tuna fleet, I'm looking for three volunteers for a little cruise. 
<laughs> Listen, boys, this is serious. There's a tuna crisis. We have to get rid of a shark, or who knows what we'll end up eating. Personally, I'll eat anything I can get, even cat crunchy. Yeah, I kind of like cat crunchy. Cat crunchies, yeah! <laughs> for volunteering, boys. Let's shove off. Yeah, well, a cat's got to do what a cat's got to do. Morning, Heathcliff. If you can find any tuna, you're welcome to it. Uh -huh. There she is, boys, the pride of the fleet, the Looney Tuna. Gee, hey, Cliff, those guys barely looked at us. Yeah, poor guys. They're almost as depressed about tuna as I am. <laughs> All right, me hotties, prepare to sail. You cast off the lines, you and you weigh anchor. Aye, aye, Captain Heathcliff. Gee, he's really getting into this sailor stuff. Now, well, let's see here now. Uh, this switch ought to do it. We anchor! Cast off! Hey, that's my boat! Come back with my boat! If they catch us, we'll never stop that shark. Heave the grappling hooks! I'm busy for a while. If I remember right, the fleet usually fishes over that way. Ah, oh, the open sea. There's nothing like it. Right, boys? Land lovers! Hey, Cliff, look! Huh? That shark has terrorized his last tuna. Wow, a sunken treasure. What a chicken of the sea! You got rid of the shark! How did you do it? As a reward, we're giving the four of you this entire box of cat crunchy. All for yourself! Oh, boy! Oh. Hey, look! The tuna like the cat crunchy! Lower the net!
This is my idea of a luxury cruise. Yeah, I guess those cat crunchies are good for something after all. <laughs> from an old pro like me. I didn't know you were a fisherman, Grandpa. Oh, sure. I've reeled in a ton of fish in my time. The only thing he's ever reeled in is a yo-yo. <laughs> I heard that, Grandma. Sorry, dear. Just making a little joke. I wonder where Heathcliff is. But it's an ill wind that blows from the south. Hey, buzz off, big mouth. Actually, I do have a rather big mouth, don't I? Hey, what's going on here? The name is Finnegan, laddie. Finnegan. Ah! Oh, there you are. We almost left without you. I guess I'll have to show all of you how a real fisherman catches fish. <laughs> Boy, he sure can fish. <laughs> I've got one. I've got one. <sighs> Yippee! I got one too. <laughs> hey! Oh. Huh? <laughs> Well, what do you say we take a break from fishing for a while and head on over to that little island for a picnic lunch? Great idea, Grandpa. This fishing is hungry work. Let's see how we have chicken and biscuits and apple juice, brownies. Boy, I must be putting on weight. Hey, Grandpa, have you seen Heathcliff? No, oh, but I'm sure he's around here somewhere. <laughs> Is everything ready? Yes, running whiskers. <laughs> then proceed with the plan. Uh, not you again. Heathcliff, my boy, your human friends have been captured and hauled away by a tribe of savage cats. Cut it out, Finnegan. It's the truth, lad. 
Pelican's honor. Pelican's huh? honor? Where did they take them? Into the jungle, lad. We'd best be on our way. Okay, turtle. Let's get going. Move it, turtle. Move it. I'm afraid you don't understand. I'm a turtle, and this is how I move it. Did you ever hear of turtle soup? <laughs> Move it, turtle. Our time's for the lift. What's happening, Grandpa? I don't know, Iggy, but don't you worry. I'll get us out of this. I hope he's better at getting us out of here than he is at catching fish. I say these strange creatures are spies for an invading tribe. And we should deal with them the way we always deal with spies. Yeah! yeah. Spies? Let's get them! Running Whiskers is right! Down with the spies! Yeah. Yeah. I am Chief What's for Dinner, <laughs> ruler of the Meow Meows. Welcome, the Great One, whom the legends foretold. To us, no oh, great one. So tell me, Chief, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Yay! Yay! The great one has spoken. You can't blame him for loving me. And now, as the legends foretold, the great one will marry the fairest maiden of the Meow Meow tribe. All right, this is the life. And the fairest maiden is, <laughs> of course, my eldest daughter, Princess Snackalot. Yeah. Huh? Uh, you spoke, oh great one? Yeah, I spoke, and I said, yeah. Yeah. You got it. No way am I gonna marry that tub lot <gasps> If he won't marry Princess Snackalot, he's an imposter. A fake. Imposter! Fake! Fake! Bummer. Pilot to Bummer. Do you have a target in sight? Wait! Wait! No! Bummer to Pilot. We are over the target. Bombs away! <laughs> pilot to crew. Mission accomplished. Let's take a roll. I'd get us out of there. I wonder what kind of people they were. I never saw them, but they acted just like animals. <laughs> well, Daddy, it looks as if you're no longer Oh, great one. <laughs> you want a bet? <laughs> Here, sir. Thank you, sir. Whatever you wish, sir. Mine, sir. Here, sir. Thank you, sir. Whatever you wish, sir. Here, sir. Thank you, sir. Whatever you wish, sir.
has a lot of neat stuff in it. What's it called? Everything you always wanted to know about pets but forgot to ask. Ask me. I'm an expert on pets. <laughs> so listen to this. It says here that a well-trained pet is not only respectful and kind to people, but to <gasps> other animals as well. Oh, true. True. Ah. In the next chapter, it talks about how a well-trained pet is also respectful of property. I couldn't agree more. Oh, no! You really should be more careful. But, Earth... Boy, what a mess! <laughs> The last thing it says here is that everybody should have a pet and that a pet should be loyal, loving, and obedient. Well, that's exactly what Heathcliff is. <laughs> the girl's got great taste. I don't think Grandpa would agree with you. Well, I think you're the most loyal, lovable, and obedient pet there is. Meow. Heathcliff! Marcy and me are going to go in the house and read the pet book. So we can find out how to take better care of our little darling. That's easy. Just give me better food and more of it. According to that book, everybody is supposed to have a pet who's loyal, loving, and obedient. If that's true, then I need a pet who's just like me. I sure don't want a dog as a pet. Hey, Spike, who's your best friend? Dogs certainly aren't loyal. What's the matter, Spike? Don't you like me? And they definitely ain't lovable. Hey, Spike, roll over. Dogs are obedient. A one out of three ain't bad. But it's still not good enough. Oh, uh, let's see. Loyal, loving. Heathcliff, <laughs> come back with that fish. Loyal, loving, and obedient. Where can I find a pet that's loyal, loving, and. Eh. Cats make crummy pets, uh, with one exception. First of all, they're not loyal. You're in my garbage can, boys. First come, first serve. Then it's my serve. My tail, go faster! <laughs> okay, guys, let's see if you're obedient. Go fetch! Whee! Oh, follow me! Do I have a choice? Look where you're going! Nah, cats are never obedient. They're always going their own way. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You want a pet? Go to a pet store. What do you want? What? What do you want? I'm looking for a pet. Look in the mirror. What? Look in the mirror. Listen, wise guy, I need a pet that's loyal, loving, and obedient. What? What do I look like, a beagle? What? A beagle? Listen, boy brain. You got that right. What? You got that right. Huh? Uh-oh. Very 
funny, bird. Now let me down. Let you down? Brock! We're going to Australia, Brock! Australia! Why, you dumb overgrown pigeon! I may be great, but I'm not perfect! Whew. Another few inches and I would have been ketchup. Hmm. Oh, what an idea! A pet cow! Oh, my very own loyal, loving, and obedient milk factory! Move huh? over! Hey, cow, do you know who I am? You're a moron! This is utterly unbelievable! Okay, cow, I'm taking you home. Giddy up! Bull! What'd you say? Now listen to me, you four-legged milk bottle. Huh? Oops! Bullseye! The idea of having a pet milk factory seems to have gone a little sour. Loyal, loving, and obedient. Trying to find the right pet is hungry work. You're right. You don't exactly have the qualities I'm looking for anyway. Hey, I know a lot of lobsters who think I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh, yeah, sure. This'll take you back to the ocean. Hey, no hot feelings. I mean, if you was a catfish, maybe things would be different. Thanks for helping me out. The pleasure was all mine. I guess I'm just not going to find a pet who's loyal, loving, and obedient. Heathcliff, where have you been? I missed you so much. Yeah, Heathcliff, where you been? We were getting worried about you. Is my little angel Heathcliff home? I've got your favorite dish, Heathcliff. Fish stew. Yeah. You don't want fish stew? Well, how about chicken and liver? Yeah, yeah. Chicken and liver, coming up. That cat sure is finicky. Now, Grandpa, don't you go picking on our little Heathcliff. Yeah, Grandpa. That's right, Grandpa. <sighs> You wait here, Heathy. I'll bring you your dinner. Loyal, loving, and obedient. People are a cat's best friend. Look at this. An advertisement from the Von Ruff Institute of Aversion Therapy. It says they can break any bad habit in man or beast in just two days. How do they do that? 
uses the latest scientific techniques. My, my, what won't they think of next? Stop! <laughs> Stealing April 9th, May 20th, June 6th, and 9th. You have a criminal addiction to fish. I'm afraid I have no choice but to... Please don't send Heathcliff to jail, Your Honor. I think there's a way to cure him. Let's hear it, then. These folks at the Von Ruff Institute guarantee they can break any bad habit in man or beast. I think we should try it out on Heathcliff. Try it out on Heathcliff? Hmm. I've seen their ads on TV. All right. The prisoner is placed in your custody for aversion therapy. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't like the sound of this. So this is the criminal. Yes, Your Excellency. Please, not to worry. This animal will be cured. Good day. Well, see you later, Heathcliff. You cooperate with the doctor now. He will cooperate, and he will like it. Subject, cat. Object, fish. Goal, destroy taste for... The prisoner, I mean, the patient, is ready, Your Highness. The prisoner? Then we will begin. Huh, this is not gonna be as bad as I thought. Ah, yes! No! Yes, your supremeness. Fish! I smell fish! <laughs> and now, for phase two. Phase two, your doctorshipness. Lunch break? Thank you for your excellent cooperation. Relax and enjoy. Oh, boy! <laughs> One more time. Hey, what's going on here? You're not gonna trick me again. You have finished your lunch. Good. Now we begin phase three. Oh, no, 
stop this thing! Mom, that was good. Phase three is completed. <sighs> what a relief. No, we begin phase four. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fish. Good. Mm. Stop it. No more. No more. No more. Congratulate you. You did a good job. It's over at last. <laughs> 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 prisoner cured of his criminal addiction. Your Honor, Heathcliff not only doesn't want to eat fish, he can't even stand to hear the word fish. Ah! I see. He's afflicted even by the word fish. Ah! All right, bailiff. Yeah! I'm convinced. Case dismissed. <laughs> That came from the kitchen. Someone ate a whole box of chocolate pastries and all the leftover sirloin steak. And my cheese is gone. Who could have done this? I can't imagine who would eat that smelly old cheese. Brrr. Stop that cat! He stole a dish of liver pate and a box of our most expensive crackers! And then he took a whole plate of pate. Does anyone else have anything to say? I do, Your Honor. Ah. Hmm? Oh. A terrible miscarriage of justice has taken place. It must be corrected. I'm placing Heathcliff in your custody. Be back here in two days. Dr. Von Ruff is going to give you emergency anti-aversion therapy. He will be fine. Please recommend us to your friends. Good day. Bailiff? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Fish! Case dismissed. Here, Heathcliff. I thought you might like to play with this toy mouse. Here's some water for you. Dig in, Heathcliff. There's plenty more where that came from. And don't worry, buddy. You'll always have all the fish you can eat.
Mongo! Mongo! Mongo, speak to me. Bobby. Let go of me. A treasure map. But, but, I know, but... Jewels, gowns. Where does she expect me to get that kind of money? Rob a bank? Oh... We're gonna be rich! 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 So much money, it ain't funny! You know what this is? It's a map of the lost city of Catlantis. Yeah, I thought it was a treasure map. Even better, Catlantis is this undersea city with more treasure than you can imagine. More than King Tut, more than Caesar, more than, more than, phew. That much? We're gonna need a submarine. Okay, that'll do. When I get back, you're gonna have so many jewels that when they get dirty, you can throw them away. And if you come back empty-handed, don't even bother to look me up. Have I ever let you down? Don't answer that. Bye, baby. Wish us luck. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Prepare to dive. Positions, everyone. Engines all ahead, one third. Aye, aye, Captain. Engine room all ahead, one third. Oh, my word. All ahead, one third. Let me see. We turn left at Greenland. Relax, men. We're on our way to Cat Lantern. Yeah, is it bedtime already? Yay! Yay! Uh, I thought it was supposed to be beautiful down here. Maybe it gets better. Are you sure we're in the right ocean? Of course we are. Where do you think the Atlantic got its name? From Catlantis. Is it bedtime now? <laughs> hey, Jack, get back! Where are we? I'm just trying to find my bearings. I don't believe it! A real mermaid! I wish you guys could see her! Yeah, that's the prettiest thing I ever seen! If you could only see her. I think I'm in love. I know I'm in love. Don't tell our hero, but they are prettier than Cleo. She's leaving. It's a good thing we didn't fall for her trap. Sailors say that if you follow a mermaid, you end up in the graveyard for ships. Wait, what are you doing? No! No! Don't look! Oh, no! All engines full ahead! Hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! They're getting away! It's a trap! Are you crazy? Those mermaids want us. They want us, all right, for dinner. Oh, that's silly. Who'd eat cat sticks? We eat fish sticks, don't we? And those dishes is half fishes. Whoa! Give me that. I'm driving. Move it. Goners, prepare to abandon ship. Yeah, there's a cave over there. It's our only chance. 
Hold it! We're going to crash! Funny looking cave. It isn't. Those are ribs. Yeah, lunch time. We're inside a whale. My legs are turning to jelly. What are we doing in a whale's belly? An old trick I learned from Pinocchio. <laughs> Atlantis should be around here. Yeah, I think it's that way. There it is! We made it! Hooray! Any suggestions? Our only chance is to shake these sharks. Dive! Dive! Cleo sees this. I haven't had company in so long. Who are you? Walter Walrus. My friends used to call me Wally. You still? You know how hard it is to get to Catlantis? Well, it's impossible to get out. I know. I've been trying for years. I'm sorry you have to go back. You're not going to make it, you know. No one ever has. Well, we will. Uh, yeah. When, boss? Just as soon as we get the treasure loaded. We're gonna have to leave some of this stuff behind. Oh, no. Not my favorite tiara. <laughs> I'm going to miss those little fellows. Either the chest goes or you go. Ah, uh, seeing how you put it that way. <laughs> yup. I'm going to miss those little fellows. But boy, they sure were the ugliest seals I've ever seen. Riffy, I just love them all. Now, where are you taking me for dinner? Anywhere you want, except no seafood. some fish. No! If my tummy could make a wish, it'd be for Hector to bring us lots of tasty fish. Yeah, what's taking him so long? Yeah, I'm so hungry, I could eat a whale. Here I come. And I got us a fishy, just like I promised. <coughs> what do you think? <coughs> Where's them fish? Grrr, that doesn't. It's time we turn to somebody with brains for help. Let's go see Professor Flix.
If anybody can help us, that's him. I hear you cats been going hungry on account of there being no fishies around. Well, out of the goodness of my heart, I'm giving you some of my delicious vittles. Blech. Bury it. Blech! Hey, this is good food! Thanks, Leroy, but we cats do have a standard to maintain. <laughs> will make the fish swim this way. Ta-da! Okay, little fishies, come to Hector. Here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy. Oh, no! <laughs> it hurts! It hurts! I'm a genius! Come with us. Nah, I'll hang around here. 
After all, here I'm king. Come on, let's be gone. Uh -uh. Boy, it's lonely at the top. Finally back on course, of course. There he is, this my trumpet. We must get it back. Hiya, Hector, you old banana. They're not gonna take it away from me. The trumpet's mine. Go away, Riffraff. One thing about Hector, he's always happy to see me. Not again! I must invent the way to get back them. With this disguise, I will sneak the trumpet away from Hector and change the frequency. Farewell, my friends. See you soon. I just remembered. I cannot swim. Oh, brother. Once more. Then back to the junkyard, my favorite place. Please give me the trumpet. Well, <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Hiya, Hector. Hiya, Hector. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. There! I've changed the frequency! The trumpet is now just a trumpet! Ah, it's all my fault! I'm sorry I was a bad kitty! I'll be good! I've always wanted to be a vegetarian! Honest! Any last-minute suggestions, Professor? There is one chance! The sharks, they hate bad music. Buy them coconut. They hate bad music. Okay, you bananas, let's cook. And a one, two, you know what to do. They are running away. Sheesh. That's some awful music there. I think the trumpet makes a better horn, don't you? Take care, Professor. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my friend. Come and visit me anytime. Hmm. Wonder if that horn will attract anything else. Speaking of dummies, here come the key of the bunch. Bruno, why is it you never talk to me? You're just too quiet, you know that, boy? At least make a sound or something. Clap, let me know you're there. 
here. Look what I got for dessert. Kareem pie. Yeah, what kind is it, Hector? Banana cream or vanilla cream? Sour cream. Have some. Uh oh, it was meant for Hector. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. I'm the only one that didn't get hit with a pie. How about that? I think you'll really like the junkyard cats. They're the kind of cats who can set a good example for your boys club to follow. You know, intelligent, mature, good sports. Gee, I can't wait to meet them. Wait till I tell the rest of the guys. Ahem. What a pleasant surprise. May I remind all of you that you were supposed to be practicing your routines for the benefit show. We were. We thought we'd take a break and have some pie. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but can we get going? I'm really anxious to meet those junkyard cats. Bobo, these are the junkyard cats. Intelligent? Mature? Fellas? This is Bobo, from the Boys Club. Glad to meet you. Hiya, Bobo. Hello, Bobo. On behalf of the Boys Club, I'd like to thank you for your upcoming participation in the benefit show. Our pleasure, kid. Should be a gas. Right. Yeah, excuse me. I'm glad you made a sterner stuff than that wimp, Bobo. To swipe all the fish donations at the benefit show will take coordination and split-second timing. If anybody will try to stop us, it'll be those dopey junkyard cats. What we gotta do is put them out of commission before they ruin the big swipe. Let's go. Now that's what I like. Enthusiasm. Drop the telescope anywhere and come see this. My secret weapon. Okay, boys, the peanuts are inside. Bruno, it's time I told you about my brilliant plan. Go! Don't get help like that anymore. They're fast, and they work for peanuts. <laughs> Where's the fish? We're behind schedule. Bruno, check the opening. I'm gonna wag at you, dummy. Fish, a poem by Wordsworth W. Wordsworth. <laughs> fish are good, fish are fine. I can eat fish all the time. I like them big, I like them small. I'm not fussy, I like them all. Yeah! <laughs> Have you ever seen so much fish? Yeah, I need five volunteers to try and lift this barbell. No way! Uh-uh. Oh, no hands! Yeah! Uh -huh. Yeah! Very proud. 
You were all so fantastic. Okay, you bananas. Don't let it go to your heads. We still got all that fish to load up. Hi, guys. Long time no see. If it ain't Boris, I thought you were still in the joint. They let me out on good behavior. And speaking of good behavior, I want to do a good deed. Feeling well, Boris? This doesn't sound like you. I'm going to show you where there's a fresh load of fish. A lot of kitties can be fed for a long time on his load. What do you say? My donation to the benefit show. Oh, okay. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look. In you go, boys. You start unloading while I hustle up some transportation. We don't see nothing. It's right at the back. Fresh halibut just in from the coast. Where? I don't see any halibut, boys. Go farther. Yeah, What's going on? What time? So long, suckers. Have a nice trip. Hey, let us out. Hey, What's the big idea? What's the big idea? If you ask me, he's gonna swipe all the fish at the benefit show. We gotta stop him. How, how do we get out of here? Oh, oh. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, could you be so kind as to show us the way out? Everybody jump! I don't want to see anything with horns ever again. Oh, no! Yeah, maybe he's friendly. <laughs> you Watch out for that big bully! A job well done. The big swipe will go down in the history books. Let's roll! Yo! Can I have two volunteers for the cream pie throwing contest? Fire! <laughs> the Boys Club wishes to thank the Junkyard Cats for their participation in the benefit show. All of us here today have learned something from them. I know I have. <laughs> <laughs>